This is map gas. I used like a dollar of gas for you guys, so you better appreciate it. And a brick that I was going to throw in the garbage anyway.
So it does glow. But let me show you guys something, all right? This is an oxygen-fed 550-gallon burn barrel. I've burned approximately one house in this thing. And uh, it's definitely starting to sag, but you know, for hours and hours on end, it would, uh, it would be glowing, warm enough that it was glowing, which, if I recall correctly, is about 1,300 degrees or so, 1,100 degrees. So it maintained really high heats, higher than uh, um, than was expected in the towers. Here, those are the oxygen inlets. I guess it's pretty hard to see right now. But there's a few things you should learn about uh, steel and aluminum. Steel weighs about three times as much as aluminum. I'm guessing it has about three times the thermal mass. Um, that means there are uh, about three times as many calories per cubic volume, cubic unit of space that either an aluminum solid or a steel solid will take up. And at least at room temperature, steel has about one-fifth the thermal conductivity. So the you know, just off the top of my head, I would imagine that approximately one order of magnitude of cooling rate would differ between steel and aluminum. And so it would be fairly apparent to pretty much anyone, pretty clear, like I guess the, the difference in size between a small mouse and or maybe a large rat and a full-size cat. Um, if a person has seen molten aluminum running down the channel and seeing little parts of it droop off and solidify as it cools down, and it quickly does so, um, it would be easy to tell that apart from steel because, you know, I smash this around and it's all dirty, but or what is that? It's pretty clear that's aluminum. <laughs> I mean, I've I worked with a fair amount of metal. You know, I weld sometimes. I've melted a bunch of aluminum inside the burn barrel. That's aluminum. I work with aluminum. I made aluminum trim and awnings. I installed a standing seam steel roof. I don't know. I've got some experience with materials. And aluminum and steel are very different in the way that they cool. And it's not absurd to feel pretty damn confident that a firefighter watching molten metal drip down beams and channels and be able to properly identify it It is not absurd. Firefighters are not complete retards. Maybe some of them are, but most of them are not. So, good luck with the cognitive dissonance, people.